Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to do a car transfer using crutches as an assisted device. You will be entering the car through the passenger side, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that the area is clear of all obstacles. You also want to make sure that the seat that you will be getting into is pushed as far back as possible to allow room for your lower extremities. You also need a place to put your left hand to support yourself as you lower down into the seat. So you can either use the window frame with the window rolled down, the dashboard, or even the back of the car seat that you are getting into. You can also install a grab bar in the door to make things a little easier for the patient. And the last tip is that if you're getting into a car that is high off the ground, you can use a step stool to make it easier for the patient to enter the car. Now I'm going to show you how to correctly perform a car transfer so you can teach a patient how to do so. Before you begin, you will want to review skills 24 and 25 on gait techniques with crutches. To begin the transfer, you will approach the car at an angle. You will then reach forward with your right hand and open the car door only as wide as necessary to complete the transfer. You will then pivot and back up until your unimpaired extremity touches the car. You will then shift the crutches to your right hand using your left hand for support and I am going to use the dashboard. You will slowly lower yourself down into the seat. Once here, you will pivot so your lower extremities are in the car. You will pull your assisted device into the car and shut the door. When exiting the car, you will do the same process as before except in reverse. So to start, you will open the car door only as wide as is necessary to complete the transfer. You will then pivot your lower extremities out of the car and shift your crutches to your right hand. You will use your left hand for support when standing up. And make sure to remind your patient to lean forward as they stand up so they don't hit their head on the top of the car. From this point, the patient will slowly stand up off the car seat using their unimpaired extremity. They will then readjust their crutches and come away from the car at an angle. They will then pivot to their left reach forward with their right hand and shut the car door. They will then pivot again, come further away from the car, and the transfer is complete. If your patient is new to the transfer or is feeling unsteady, then you will want to guard them throughout the transfer. So now I have my assistant Mac and I'm going to show you how to properly guard a patient while doing a car transfer. So first you want to put a gait belt on your patient and Mac already has her gait belt on. You will then hold on to the gait belt with your palm up and you will want to walk behind and slightly to the side of the patient throughout the transfer. show you how to guard a patient while they're exiting the car. Mackenzie, can you open the door for me? Hey guys. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. <laughs> I thought it was close enough. Back it up. 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 Back it up.
now that uh, <laughs> we are going, I am going. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs>